tides are periodic rise and fall in the level of a sea well in mid ocean the depth of water is very large and the tidal range is quite small so the rise and fall causes no or very little horizontal movements of water let me explain about this tidal range well the difference between high tide when the level of water is high and the low tide when the level of water is low is called tidal range look at this example near coast water is a shallow so the tidal range increases in this picture uh, here this is a uh, low tide in this uh, picture however when there is uh, high tide that's how it looks so there is a large horizontal movement of water so the tidal streams are the horizontal movement of water due to tides and there are various theories to explain the cause one of the theory is uh, equilibrium theory by isaac newton and actual tides observed are normally in agreement with tides computed according to this theory every particle in the seas is in the state of equilibrium under the action of a centrifugal force this is as per the equilibrium theory and this centrifugal force is caused due to earth's rotation gravitational attraction by earth and forces of attraction by sun and moon we also know that the force of attraction between two masses that is m1 and m2 is directly proportional to their product that is m1 and m2 and inversely proportional to the square of the distance that is t square that is the law of uh, gravitational forces so there are two types of tide first uh, let me discuss about lunar tide where there is a effect uh, due to moon here let us consider that the earth is uniformly covered with water over entire surface which is of course not the case but 70% of the water uh, but 70% uh, of the earth is covered by water here let me uh, write the radius of earth which is approximately 4000 miles and the distance of moon from earth that is we are talking about the center here and the center here the center of the earth and the center of the moon the average distance is 240000 miles so we can say that uh, there are two points here one is p and another one is p dash and the ratio is 4 4000 divided by 240000 that is 1 by 60 so here there are two points the point p is closer to moon than the center of earth similarly point p dash is further 4000 miles away and suppose there is a f f is the gravitational force of moon at the center of gravity so let's say let's talk about this center here and this center here so there is a force f however there is additional force f small f due to a uh, point p closer to moon by 4000 miles that is 1 by 60th of the distance between the centers of earth and moon similarly at p dash there will be force f minus small f the water around the earth is not rigid well the differential force tends to move the water away from surface of earth towards a moon so at point p there will be force of attraction on earth that is f and on water the force of attraction will be f plus f similarly at point p dash the force of attraction on earth is f but on water it is f minus f so the net result is 
uh, before we talk about net net result let us also discuss about this uh, line that all points on are on the same distance from a moon so uh, differential forces are nil here because they are at equal a distance so tide raising force is also nil however uh, the difference here at point p and p dash will cause the rise of water above mean sea level so the overall effect is to produce an ellipsoid of water around the earth like this and as the earth rotates within this ellipsoid the water the level of water at a place would rise and fall which will produce high and low waters respectively this is called a lunar tide so there will be two low waters and two high waters between one culmination of the moon to the next culmination also called a meridian passage that means moon is here and after uh, uh, next uh, uh, 24 hours approximately moon will be again here so the from one meridian passage of moon to another meridian passage there will be two low waters and two high waters we also know that the time interval between two successive meridian passages passages of moon is 24 hours 50 minute well uh, this is a known fact that the moon rises sets and culminates approximately 50 minutes later each day so we can say that the period of lunar tide is half of that that is 12 hours 25 minute sun has a similar effect but to lesser uh, to lesser extent than moon the forces of attraction of sun is uh, 200 times than that of moon but the differential force of attraction of sun is lesser than the moon the distance between earth and sun is uh, approximately 93 million miles and the distance between earth and moon is uh, 2 lakh 40 thousand miles so if we compare uh, this ratio here then the radius which is 4000 miles will not produce a significant uh, difference while well, this diagram is not to the scale but uh, trying to convey the fact so the tide raising forces of sun and moon are in the ratio of about 3 is to 7 and we will have another ellipsoid of water due to sun around the earth well the earth rotates within this ellipsoid in uh, 24 hours there will be two high waters and uh, two low waters at any uh, place so the period of solar time is uh, 12 hours here in this diagram this uh, dotted red color indicates that there is another ellipsoid because of uh, differential forces by sun